which we're considering um, when we realised how close we were in proximity to do this at each other's houses, but we didn't. In the other <laughs> <way>. Unfortunately, just <laughs> that's early enough. <laughs> okay, so we are going to go to the splits on the map right now. We've got three seconds, two, one. This is the oh, opening game of the ESL Guild versus Guild. Six versus six tournament sponsored by Bloody Tech, and we're going to see both the red team and the blue team coming out here strong from the start, all just going one narrowly through the same path. Blue actually able to get onto the point first, getting one tick, but there's a lot of damage going down over on the other side, just where around where Sazu is, just nipped onto the side of the point there as well, just to make sure that Daimaka isn't going to be able to try and take someone out from behind. Do see List currently going down as well. Oh, whoa, List oh, is going down, is going down. There. Oh my goodness. Oh that, my that, god. That, that cleave damage. That was insane how fast he went down And there. if you notice, they didn't stack any might at the beginning. No one stacked might. I think they, they, they only went for um, straight to the point, just straight to killing people, really. Yeah, seriously. Exactly like I said. They kind of just jumped in there immediately going for the kill. And the Kaiju <laughs> Kaiju is also down as well now. Currently just off the point as well. So Blue Team going to have to nip off that point to actually try and save him. A lot yeah. of the Blue Team in trouble. Dai has actually just gone down as well on the point. Mm. Yeah, it seems that um, the blue team is having a tough time trying to stick together. I'm, I'm not sure um, why they're, they're going down. I think Sizer is doing a good job of picking people off. I think he was able to pick off the um, list at the beginning there, and then he went over to um, the engineer, Kiju, and then you know back and forth like that, and he was able to take all of them out. So really good job on their part, doing exactly what uh, we, we explained at the beginning. They're annihilating them. <laughs> This is absolute annihilation. I called it from the beginning. Avengers of the Fallen want the they want the prize money, Seamash. They want <laughs> that money. They want it right now. They just they, they want to wait. They just want it now. They're just saying, All right, I'm having it. But you know what? They're still blue is still getting the odd person onto the point. And Avengers yeah. of the Fallen can't move until yeah. I've capped it. They can't. They really can't. I think um, blue team is definitely gonna have a hard time because they, if they keep filing in, at some point, at some point, they won't have enough people to get on point, and um, they'll fully cap it. Um, Ventures of support, VOTF will, will fully cap it, and that'll be a problem for them. So what they need to do is group up and um, prepare for defense, really, and see see if they can push back on a point as a group. Yeah, that's the, that is a, and it's such a large area, which is exactly why you probably picked this map to do it on. Yeah. Um, that it's really tough, and they did have a little mini regroup, but they, they just that goes the full cap. They've actually got the full cap just then as well. <laughs> so Avengers of the Fallen, look at them. They're just going straight for the Lord Kill, straight away. Look, four or five guys straight on the gate, straight away. They are not wasting any time. They have met them many times in the ESL Cup. I think they've probably got their number already. So they're already moving up the stairs. Bior is going back in for defense. He's going to put that five up on the... the um, the Guardian Wall, sorry, on the stuff. Yeah. He's, they're going to try and nip onto it? Or how do you think they're going to fare here, dude? I'm not sure, because in the middle, I believe they're, they're already capping middle. The blue team is capping middle right now. So they can actually turn around and say, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm, we're going to go for your Lord instead. This and, is true. Uh, oh, my goodness. Just Lord is almost at 25% health. Oh, God. He's down. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, that, Vengeance that of the Fallen. Taken out. Just oh my goodness! Oh. Chaos Army really has to um, try their best now to come back because, really, if they if they lose this, they lose everything. That that was just you know, we we yeah. did call it. We did <laughs> call it at the beginning. <laughs> um, it's all about that mid fight. They've just actually called it in map. They, 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 I'm not sure they want another defeat in the match. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna come back to the cams now quickly. Okay, so we did see <laughs> Chaos Army um, did get Chaos annihilated, Army. which is <laughs> that's what I said before, and I'm going to stick to it because they kind of did. Um, yep. the, Vengeance of the Fallen, so many people on their team who are just absolutely, the damage is just intense. You've got, like you said, Sizer picking off people from the sides. You've got the support from Can Scout, Can Scout coming in as well. You've got mm -hmm. Freyna you know, giving the support. Kwong, I haven't. Uh, sorry, Kwong. Qu Quove? Qu Quove. I can't actually <laughs> say the name probably. Um, <laughs> is also going through. Uh, you know, a bit it's more good. support. Going. He's, I mean, it's they haven't really changed their specs much. No, they haven't. Um, what they're, they're specking really is um, the staff is there to 
probably provide a bit of support and mm. stability, I believe. Yeah, he's got, he's got lots of stability with his swapping, or I'm looking at something different. No, he's just got protection with every aura he casts, so that's pretty cool for his team. I mean, that's really good support. He's going for a lot of support there in this yeah. spec. It's really good. He's got the cantrips, which are going to help him get out of trouble. He's got the mist form to, to down as well and to res. He's got armor yeah. armor of earth. He's got a lot of survival in that spec to be supportive yeah. and, as well. And Posey is going to be doing a lot of damage along with Sizer. Yeah. Um, yeah. And also he got super as well, you know, doing the typical hammer longbow uh, I, motion. I, I think their specs are really, really pe peculiar because um, the only person who's really focused on AoE is Quove. The rest are really single target um, poking. I think po Posey is also AoE as well because it's AoE conditions. But po Sizer, um, Can Scout, and Super are all single target uh, spec in a way. Yeah, exactly. And they're able to just focus that damage even qui even quicker than we can yeah. even imagine. And look at them. Yeah, they're stealth, all avoiding that right damage. <laughs> It's just awesome how they grouped up on that side front. They did get they did get the might stacks off. I mean, we can see yep. just quickly on Can Scout here. It's just run off actually, but he's ranging just on the on side of the point. He's not even actually popped off his um, elite spirit yet, just because yeah. he doesn't need to. I don't think anyone's in sufficient danger to the point yeah. where he actually needs to put it out. So it's a good yeah. idea. Yeah, this is already down right now. Oh, I think God. they focused him because they knew he was, he was uh, squishy. Um, I think in order for um, Kios Army to actually come back in this, they have to do the same thing that um, VOTF is doing to them: pick off people just randomly from the side just pick anyone off and i think the best person for them to pick up right now might be cool because he's the support he's the guy who removes all the conditions he's the guy providing healing and protection and you can see all they all the boons that uh, that vtf has right now is just protection regeneration and fury it's crazy it is pretty crazy right now. I apologize. I didn't actually update the score just because we went back into this game so quickly. And I'd rather give you guys um, the info of what's happening at the moment in the game than actually just stop uh, completely and change the score. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um, so Freylina currently as well. Doing pretty well on the point. I don't think I've seen his HP go down very far. And there's no focus, obviously, on him at the moment. Yeah. There's, I mean, yeah. Posey is just came out of Death Shot, so he's getting a tiny bit of focus on him, but not a massive amount. There doesn't yeah. seem to be any target. He's, he's just, he's <laughs> just providing all the conditions, and he's <laughs> dropping his um, epidemic on them, and it, it absolutely destroying them. It's, it's crazy. I think they really need to focus someone that won't be able to uh, get away. I think Posey might be that target. Um, Kruv is also good, a good target as well. Yeah, he is. It, they've just got nothing. They get on the point, and it just feels almost like they've already given up before they've got to the point. It really <laughs> feels like that, unfortunately, for these guys. They, they just they lost them. They lose the, any kind of momentum they have, or any kind of morale that they mm -hmm. have. As soon as they get that first team wipe. They literally yeah. were just running in one by one, slowly. Now the Guardian's running towards mid. We do see Liss as well in the distance over there. Three men down on their team isn't yeah. going to be good for them. It's not looking good for a mate. Yeah. It's very unfortunate for Chaos Army Co. The point is not capped, so it is not over by any means at <laughs> the moment. Not just, not just yet. But the thing is, as they keep dying, it's, they're just stacking the points for um, <laughs> the OTF. So, in, in fact, if the OTF is winning, they could keep going like this for the next 10 minutes, and they will still win. So, it's a case of um, uh, Chaos Army just staying back, grouping up, and then pushing hard. They have to do that, or else they'll just keep you know, dying repeatedly. You're literally about to get the full cap now as well. So, as a team, grouped up together... They are about to hit the base to actually potentially end this set, which will be going into Vengeance of the Fallen's favour at a 2-1, as I can just get, just change the score just now, as we right, seen as we are on right the Right now, the best thing for Chaos Army to do is just send their thief back to the to the uh, central point. And then, yeah, they're doing it right now, in fact. That's, the one. <laughs> That's exactly what they're doing right now. Their, their Muku is on middle point, and they're holding back with five people. So that should work out for them. They're not actually that, bothering to move oh, back oh, either. Actually, no, it won't work out for them because four nope. people are now on the Lord. Oh my God. <laughs> Sizer just jumps on the Lord straight away. Oh my God, I'm trying to well, get a target here. So the Blue Lord is at 50%. Oh my good Lord. Oh my good Lord, Seamash. And that's, that's that, really. <laughs> it's all over. Chaos Army really, unfortunately, just...